And so to the Alps with three daunting climbs on the menu today between Umbra and Valois. Starters Alexei Lutsenko looked hell-bent on getting clear and finally cracked it after 35k. It was quickly joined by Leonard Kemner, Tara Limpy and Adam Yates. The pace remaining high until the intermediate sprint after just 45k as another 30 riders jumped off the front to join up with the leading quartet. So 34 men in the breakaway. Nada Quintana was the best placed overall, nine and a half minutes off the pace. Roman Bardet in there too, as well as the King of the Mountains, Tim Vellens and his teammate Tish Bernat. Damiano Caruso and Michael Woods also wants to watch as the gap swelled out to over six minutes. Bellens picking up 10 points at the Col de Vars, just ahead of Bardet. Some savvy riding there from the Belgian. With the Koenig quick step still on the front of the peloton, Greg Van Avermaet and Julien Bernard pull clear at the front. The duo had over a minute in hand at the foot of the Izua, with the GC favourites now over eight minutes back. Well then Movistar decided it was time to shake things up. Mark Soler and Mikel Lander increasing the pace and considerably thinning out the yellow jersey group. Up at the front, a group containing Adam Yates, Barde, Quintana and Woods set about chasing Bernard, who had managed to shake off Van Avermaet. Well, the Frenchman caught just before the summit with Caruso pocketing 40 points that doubled for whole category climbs over 2,000 metres. Before the Col du Lauteray, the first part of the Galibier, 11 men still had five and a half minutes on the peloton and plenty of potential stage winners in there. Bardet, Quintana, Woods and Adam Yates. However, they were simply powerless to resist when Quintana unleashed this devastating attack on the Galibier proper, just over 7k from the summit. Bardet and Lutsenko looking to chase him down. But the Colombian was long gone as his compatriot Egan Bernal then attacked from the group of GC favourites. Quintana already two minutes clear of Bardet. Defending champion Geraint Thomas then having a go as well but he was caught before the summit. Quintana maintaining his advantage on the long sweep into Valois as the GC favourites hunted Bernal. Alaphilippe briefly dropped on the climb getting back on terms. Quintana in a league of his own and claiming his third stage win on the Tour de France. Bardet second ahead of Lutsenko and the impressive Leonard Kemner. Bernal gaining some 32 seconds on his GC rivals, but it's Alaphilippe who stays in yellow. Well, this win is for the whole team. They've been working really hard since the start of this tour and they have really helped me. So this victory is dedicated to them, to my teammates, to my family, to my countrymen who are here and to all of Colombia. Alaphilippe still leads by a minute and 30 seconds, but Bernal is now ahead of Thomas, while Kreutzweg and Pino are within 20 seconds of the young Colombian. Quintana's superb win moves him up to seventh 